I wish I'd known this sooner. A single eye-catching thumbnail can double your YouTube views. And guess what? You don't need design skills or hours of editing. Today, I'm revealing how to create professional thumbnails like top YouTubers. With just a few clicks, even if you're a complete beginner. Ever dreamed of having your face on a stunning YouTube thumbnail? With Pixels, it's as easy as pie. Head to Pixels and select Recreate. Choose Now Persona, then upload 12 photos of yourself with different expressions. Think big smile, shocked, or serious. You get the vibe, hit Create and wait 2 to 3 minutes. When your photo pops up in the top left corner, you've got a super cool digital version of yourself. Time to draw inspiration from viral thumbnails. Conversational, slightly dramatic, find a YouTube thumbnail that blows your mind. You could use a celebrity's thumbnail. But today, I'm avoiding that to steer clear of YouTube's copyright strikes. Instead, I'll pick a random thumbnail, like a tech-savvy guy with a curious expression, neon bright lighting, and a dramatic title. Take a screenshot and save it to a file named viral underscore thumbnail underscore 2025. Open ChatGPT or Grok, DeepSeek, upload the image, and ask, describe this image in detail. Once ChatGPT responds, follow up with, based on this description, create a similar prompt, but instead of a European girl with wavy hair, change the title to thumbnail viral in just three minutes. ChatGPT will generate an awesome prompt, like this. A shocked European woman with long wavy blonde hair, holding her face in disbelief, eyes wide open, mouth agape. Background has digital flames rising at the bottom. A circular icon in the center with a mysterious viral logo TikTok style symbol. Bold white text at the top says, thumbnail viral in just three minutes. Copy that killer prompt from ChatGPT and head back to Pixels. Step by step, clear. Select Recreate, paste the prompt into the input field. For the image selection, use the character image you created in step one. Click Generate and wait about 30 seconds. Voila! You'll have a thumbnail that looks like it came straight from a million view YouTuber. If you want to change the title, just click on the pencil icon and give it a clear, strong command. Delete all old text and replace it with Top AI Hot, then click Regenerate. Wait a few seconds. Boom, it really updates the title. Bold, sharp, and eye-catching. This thumbnail, it looks amazing. The colors pop, the face, looks just like me, not fake at all. Pro tip, if you want to edit any part of the image, be direct and specific. The clearer your command, the better the result, if you're vague. Pixels might mess it up, and yeah, it can glitch a lot. That's just my personal experience. Hope it helps you get better results too. Want to try being a different character? Pixel's face swap feature is next level. Click face swap, upload your thumbnail image from step one. Choose a different avatar, like an Asian girl with a Gen Z vibe. Hit create, and Pixels will swap the face seamlessly. It looks so real. This is the perfect way to experiment with new styles without taking new photos. I tried Pixels multiple times and failed miserably until I cracked this formula. In the past, I used to simply copy the thumbnail link and write basic prompts by myself. But the results were often off topic. The character didn't look like me and there were lots of errors in the details. Golden advice, always use ChatGPT to create a detailed prompt. This method lets you borrow ideas without copying exactly, resulting in a unique thumbnail that still has that viral vibe. Be patient, 
and you'll save a ton of credits. Trust me, I started my account yesterday and already burned through most of my credits experimenting. I only started using Pixels recently, but honestly, I found it surprisingly useful and easy to use. You don't need any design skills, just a few clicks and you've got a thumbnail that. The pricing is pretty fair too. The basic plan is around 14 euros a month. And there's a free trial so you can test it first. It's not perfect, but if you're new to YouTube and want to save time, it's definitely a tool worth trying. What about you? Let me know in the comments if you've tried it. And if this video helped you, feel free to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss the next one. Thanks so much for watching until the end. I really hope this helped you. See you in the next video.